previously on Gillette Drafted. All right, so we have the top six about to be determined. You know, yeah, this is going down now. I'm sorry to tell you, but you won't be drafted. Sorry, but you won't be drafted. Guys, sorry to tell you, but you won't be drafted. Thanks for coming up. Stay with me, stay with me. Brett, Teddy, Joseph, Harrison, Anthony. Congratulations, you've made it to the top six. Oh my God, Courtney. I was the happiest guy in the world, but I knew right away, like, this process is just beginning, and I gotta keep bringing it every single day. I can't stop. First of all, gentlemen, let me say congratulations on making the top six finalists for Gillette Draft in season five. The top six is picked, and I just had my heart go from up here, and it settled back into my chest. So let me introduce to you the judges who need no introduction, Cam Stewart, Greg Sansoni, and Jackie Redmond. You're all familiar with the format of the show and how things work, which is why we're gonna change it up a little bit this year. Get your passports ready. The six of you are going on the road. We are just like, what? We're going on a road trip? Jackie will be there to be our eyes and ears. As for the rest of the format, Jackie, why don't you explain how it's gonna work? Guys, you're gonna be given an assignment every single week, and that's what we're gonna use to decide who is gonna win this thing. To be yourselves, uh, do the best you can. It's gonna take a lot of work to win, but just also enjoy the ride too. What I want you to keep in mind is this is about a long extended job interview. Focus on exactly what you have to do to become Canada's next sportscaster and the next Gillette spokesperson. Good luck. We'll see you all back here in Toronto very soon. And it was time to start this thing. Each week you're gonna have an assignment these you're gonna have to complete. But in addition to that, you're also gonna have warm up challenges. They're a bit smaller in nature and they're a little bit more fun but they're equally as important, so we gotta make sure that you take them very seriously. Just keep in mind, they're not just an opportunity to obviously impress the judges and show what you can do, but they're also an opportunity to gain a competitive edge heading into the bigger assignments. So your first warm-up challenge is entitled The Crest 3D White Time Trials. We have these nice prep kits for you. Make sure you look good, nice clean smile, everything's ready to go, and then we're gonna start the time trial. It was a gauntlet obstacle course throughout the entire Sportsnet 360 studio. It was crazy. It's gonna start here, stage one, with Jackie asking you some trivia. It was the first challenge of Gillette drafted. I see Jackie, she asked me the first question. It was a baseball question, so I was pretty happy. All right, here we go. What current member of the Blue Jays wears the number 58? If you did well, you're whitening. If you did not so good, you're yellowing. Uh, <laughs> um, pass. Who's the only Blue Jay to be named AL MVP as a Blue Jay? As a Blue Jay? These were hard questions. Who did the Blue Jays trade to the Padres in 1990 for Joe Carter, Roberto Alomar? If you completely bombed, you were given a red card and you were disqualified right away. I thought I'd be able to get a good start. You, sir are disqualified, oh you got zero out of five. I got every single question in the trivia wrong. I was pissed. Name the man behind the call, touch them all, Joe, you'll never hit a bigger Tom home Chief. run in your life. You, sir, are yellowing. For every question you got wrong, you have to do 10 push-ups. You got two questions out of five, so you do 30 push-ups or take 60 seconds? I'll do 30. Harrison, 30, go. those are some of the worst push-ups I have ever seen in my life. His form was horrible. So brutal. I am not even thinking about this. I dropped down right away, hammered out those push-ups. Perfect form. Corey came out, did his push-ups like a machine. Hey, well, he's a gym teacher, so. No sense waiting around. Might as well just do it. Pay your penalty, get up there, and start. Here's your white card. Good luck. You're going to go upstairs to see Sophia in stage two. We had to go to the newsroom upstairs, and we had to read a teleprompter script, and we had no idea what it was. Hey there, here's your Crest 3D white update. If you're not whitening, you're yellowing. I was definitely out of breath when I got to the first teleprompter read. Cleveland taking on Toronto. <sighs> I had trouble saying the baseball player's name. It's Lonnie Chisholm Hall. You said Christian Hall. Lonnie Chris Christian Hall singles to left and Rajay Davis. Okay. And I couldn't I say no Chiz. For some so. reason, I was like mispronouncing the guy's name. You are yellowing because you said Christian Hall again. It's Chisholm Hall. You Chis, gotta Chis, get Chis. the name right. And I did the worst thing you can possibly do, 
and that's run, and I knew I shouldn't have run. And by the time I got to the update desk to do my thing, I literally couldn't breathe. As Drupal Cabrera gets the best of R.A. Dickey connecting for a home run just inside the right field foul pole. Teddy, I, we were about to call the ambulance for you up there. You were out of breath. Cleveland takes the rubber match for two. Jays are in Baltimore tomorrow. I think all my work in the gym has paid off because I, I kind of caught my breath. Here you go, white card, buddy. And I nailed it on the first try. I got my white card. I did a sign off, I threw it back, and You are awaiting, you're on to the next one. She, she gave me the white card, I was gone. The third stage is the edit suites, where you're gonna have to voice a pack. Anthony, how are you sweating? Same idea as before, if you get through the highlights clean, you get your white card, you're whitening, you can move on. The Spaniard took the first set 6-2 and the second set in the same fashion. And I was just trying to do the take. Okay, I'm gonna start oh, from the sorry, beginning. Oh, sorry, I thought that, that, was okay. that, that was my take. It's okay, it's okay. And he's like, oh, was that your take? And I was halfway through, I'm like, yeah, bro, it was my take. And Phil Messina walks in. Since hey, what's up, man? I'm Phil. Hey, How Phil. are you, man? Good, man. How are you? Good, Just good. gotta do something. Yo, Thanks, bro. That? And all of a sudden here, is this drafting? What are you guys doing? Hey, what are you guys doing? This is a test about how I can be like assertive. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, I gotta sorry, do sorry, this. Sorry, it's okay. We'll sorry to interrupt. We'll it's nice later. meeting you. Phil, really good to meet you. Get out of my face. I got the whitening card, and I'm gone. We run back down to the studio with Jackie and she asks us a recall question. Well, Nadal won the first and second sets by what score? 6-2. Done. 6-2. 6-2, 6-2. 6-2. 6-2. you're done. I gotta watch more baseball. <laughs> the winner of the Crest 3D White Time Trials warm-up with a time of six minutes and three seconds is Harrison Bourdon. Hey. Congratulations. Hey. Hey. I won it, I think by 15 seconds. When he beat me and I came in second, I was a little upset, obviously, because I'm competitive, I want to win. You just gotta let it go and move on to the next one. Right now, you guys need to go pack your bags because we're hitting the road in 10 minutes. Run. We're hitting the road, so we're all freaking out. We run out of the studio and we just, we packed our bags as fast as we could. We drove to Guelph through beautiful southern Ontario. We roll in to the Guelph Griffins home stadium. Matt and Jackie are there waiting for us to give us the challenge. As you can see, we're at the beautiful University of Guelph, the home of the Guelph Griffins, and we're here on the football field for your very first assignment. It was to hold a press conference with the Griffins football team and their coach, Stu Lang. Okay, cool, most of us have not done that. There's only a short amount of time we have to do this press conference. You do not want to be the person that doesn't ask a question. So make good use of your time. I still have no idea what my perk is at this point. Harrison, you were the winner of the Crest 3D White time trials. You will be starting this press conference off. At least I get one in there, I won't get you know, boxed out by anybody else. <laughs> the prize for this first assignment is massive because the winner is going to get an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with longtime Buffalo Saber and notorious bad boy and instigator, Matthew Barnaby. This guy was like, he was my guy growing up. We booked some library time for you guys to get your studying in. It's only a few hours until the press conference is gonna start, because at 9 p.m., we go live. So use your time wisely. 